So, the inevitable daylight video. Yeah, I've missed every deadline in my life so far, so uh, why break the habit of a lifetime? Um, overall, I thought everyone's answers to my question that I asked last week were amazing. I think everyone really hit the nail on the head and you know picked up on the fact that our fear of AI is not really a fear of AI, it's a fear of us. It's, it's a, our own problems that we have with how we use technology that we're really afraid of there and that a lot of our fears about AI are rather irrational. So wh why do I think that we're afraid of AI? I think that, well the obvious is that it's an unknown. It's something that's in the future and we don't know about yet and everything that's unknown scares the shit out of people in general. Um, look at how people react to new technology. A lot of the time they're afraid of it, they're fearful of it. Um, and again, it, it's also the uh, Hiroshima effect. The idea that we could create something that may actually end up destroying us. Um, which is the big depiction of AI in the uh, media. The idea that it would turn against humans and wipe us all out. I think that's a rather irrational fear overall. Um, like in the Terminator TV programs and movies and everything, the, the idea is that the machine comes to this logical decision to wipe out humans because they're unnecessary. Um, I'm perfectly willing to accept that as a plot device in a movie or a book, but I don't think it's a legitimate reason to avoid creating an AI because it's nonsense. Um, logic is not the deciding factor in a civilizations that have embraced mass murder in history if we look back at it. It's emotion that leads to that kind of decision making, uh, hatred and greed. It's not a logical decision. We have this fear of, you know, the idea of machines thinking logically and being, you know, cold and unemotional, when in reality that's probably a good idea. It's our emotions that tend to get us into trouble, humans. It's, it's also, you know, a good thing. I'm not saying that we should be emotionless drones. But um, we don't have to fear machines making the decision to wipe us all out because they're logical. Ironically, I think that you know fearing AI is also unnecessary because I'm not actually that convinced about us actually ever creating an artificial intelligence, at least like that which we have, we most commonly think about and which most commonly appears in, in fiction or when people talk about AI. I think that it is a, uh, a kind of throwback to, like a lot of aspects of transhumanism, it's a throwback to the beginning of the kind of technology boom, um, and that it hasn't played out in that way, and we're not necessarily moving in that direction anymore in terms of how we are advancing in technology. Like, um, excuse me, uh, transhumanism, we're not going to be downloading ourselves into robot bodies. Um, that's never going to happen because that's not the way we're heading in. We're, we're, we're heading in the direction of uh, genetically altering our bodies, um, actually turning our bodies into something else. That's another form of transhumanism, but it's not the way that it is most traditionally uh, talked about or thought about. And I think the same can be said of AI. Um, if and when it finally comes around, I don't think it will be in any form that you know we would identify as artificial intelligence now. Um, you know, like the transhumanism thing. It's an idea from way back when it seemed like technology was heading in a very different direction than it ended up actually taking. So yeah, that, that, that's what I think anyway. Um, and everyone came up with some really impressive answers. You deep thinking people you. And uh, of course, Rowan Fortune Wood, um, who I got to do the kind of guest slot thing came up with an awesome video which you should all see if you've not seen yet. Um nothing else to say. 